dreams I wander through the bluebells and the pines. So welcome back to uh, this week's vlog. Thank you to everybody who's been watching these as I've been putting them out. And as if your first time watching, welcome. I hope you enjoy yourselves. Um, I'm going to do another recap of uh, memorable gigs and stuff from the beginning of the year. Um, this particular one was uh, very memorable to me. It was a, a weekend of gigs away. One was in Stafford, one was in Essex. And um, I think it was the first time really in about 10 years that I'd been away from home. I'd been married for 10 years and this was the first overnighter. Wherever I go in the country, I always come back. But, uh, yeah, I come back that night. But um, given that these were both away in different parts of the country, it didn't make sense to do that. And um, Cat Deeds was very kind in putting me up on the Saturday so I could travel to Essex from Stafford on the Sunday morning. Um, I, the, prior to these gigs taking place, uh, I wasn't in a very good place in my own head. Um, I was really starting to doubt myself. Um, I was having a real crisis of confidence. Uh, I pretty much hated every song I'd ever written and because I was overthinking everything it was starting to affect my playing or so I thought at least. Um, I think it's quite common for musicians to feel like this from time to time. Certainly the ones I've spoke to about it is. They just come out of the blue and take you by surprise and all of a sudden you're on a downward spiral. And uh, it's a weird one. It's not something you really see musicians talk about on social media or anything like that. Usually we try and keep everything positive and fun and exciting and uh, you know look at all the great stuff we're doing. But occasionally there are bad times and there are dark times. And we're not always our own best friends. Um, I certainly used to be terrible for being my own worst critic. I could pick faults in the slightest mistake and I could focus on that for hours. Um, I think a lot of that had to do with anxiety as well. I had um, anxiety after a car crash. But I used to go to gigs and if I dropped one note, that's all i think about on the way home in the car. doesn't matter how good the gig was either. But anyway, that's a different story. Um... I was in one of these moods, I wasn't being very kind to myself, and I was properly in my own head. And then the week before I was due to travel up to Stafford, the gearbox fell out of my car. <laughs> and on top of all that, I was stressed as well, and uh, I didn't want to cancel because it was short notice, and I was panicking, and I was stressed out. And then um, it got to like three days before I was due to head up, and uh, I sort of had a word with myself, um, did a bit of soul searching and calmed myself down. And once I did that, everything clicked into place, I could think clearly, and um, I managed to get another car sorted and on the road in time to head up. Um, but as you can imagine, all that at once wasn't the best lead up to a gig. I uh, headed up to Stafford without a hitch in the new car, thankfully. Um, it was uh, for Discovering Country. It was their first ever live event. It was with Megan Lee and uh, Stevie O'Connor was headlining with the full band. Um, really, really fun night. Fantastic performers. If you haven't checked them out yet, I'd recommend you go do that. They're on social media. They're doing great things. Fantastic songwriters and brilliant singers. And uh, It was just a really, really, really top evening. The atmosphere was spot on. Uh, the sound was great. The crowd were fantastic. There was uh, loads of people there. They laughed when they were supposed to laugh. They joined in when they were supposed to join in. And they sat and listened when the moment required it. As far as uh, live audiences go, you couldn't wish for anything better. So that was uh, the Saturday. Sunday then I headed down to Essex for Nashville's Calling. That was a sold out show as well. Um, featuring myself, the Simon Aldridge Experience and the Jackson Line. Um, probably the youngest crowd that I'd played to on a country gig. But it was a sold out event. And it, again, fantastic venue. The stage was set up really good. The sound was great. The crowd was spot on. And um, 
you know, they come up and spoke to her afterwards. They were interested. They bought merch. Uh, sold a load of CDs that weekend. The acts as well were just super friendly and really great. Uh, stayed in contact with those as well. Um, I found it quite funny going from one town to the other, seeing like the difference in fashion and stuff. Because in Stafford, everyone had like check shirts and big beards and like down in jackets. And then you head down to Essex, it was a bit more like uh, skinny jeans and Levi t-shirts and you know sunglasses. So um, that that did make me laugh, seeing a bit of like a a divide throughout the country, in like the fashion and stuff. But say both fantastic evenings and. Um, I got home and my wife asked me how the weekend went. I think she was a bit nervous on my behalf as well, knowing what I was putting myself through going up there. And uh, I just said it, I really needed that. It completely turned everything around. It clicked into place. And it sort of um, just put things right. We're back on a level pale feed. I was focused again. And it, it just shook all the badness off. And um, I strongly believe that sometimes you need not so perfect gigs or bad experiences or these darker moments to really appreciate the good stuff that's certainly the case for that weekend um i think i'm going to leave it on that note thanks again for watching hopefully you've uh, subscribed or liked whatever you got to do with youtube i know i'm not clued up but um take care of yourselves and be kind to yourself <laughs>